the Maranatha Christian Church is present in nations from every continent of the planet. Church from countries in the three Americas, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania, connected by the same doctrine in the direction of the Holy Spirit of God, united through the living word. Brethren from every part of the world participate in the same service jointly in the same body, in the same spirit. Through this system of transmission, the members of the Maranatha Christian Church of the entire planet live a moment of unity in fellowship as the Hebrews lived in the departure from Egypt and the disciples with the Lord Jesus just before his death on the cross of Calvary. <coughs> People from every part of the world have been reached by the eternal gospel and by the message of the soon return of the Lord Jesus. Our brethren, we greet you with the brethren that are in the church receiving this transmission with the peace of the Lord Jesus. They're transmitting the Sunday school of the Maranatha Christian Church, something that we do every Sunday morning at the, around this time. And our transmission is being made from here in the center of communication of the Maranatha Christian Church in the Bor Taparica in Vila Velha in the state of Espírito Santo, Brazil. <coughs> We are here to participate with us, our brethren from the area of Gloria 2 and Gloria 4. Those are boroughs of uh, the periphery of Vila Velha, um, municipality of Vila Velha in, Bra in Brazil. And also we have brethren from Brasilia, capital of the Brazil. They are participating with us and, and uh, joining Rome. We have a presence of our brethren, brethren from the room of Winnipeg in Canada. They are participating with us on this Sunday school. My brethren, our activity abroad throughout this week, we had a city, Ciudad del Leste in Paraguay. Our brethren are being receiving assistance from pastors from Brazil that give assistance to, on that region on the border with the south of Brazil. And also we have done in the city of Cochabamba in Bolivia, the baptism of many people. We're growing, giving growth to the work of the Holy Spirit in that region of Bolivia. Events also, there are of highlight. There was uh, um, an event that was that took place in uh, an homage to Maranatha Christian Church, that was promoted by the city of Baixo Guandu in the state of Espírito Santo, border with the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. And also in Governor de Valadares, we have a service of graduation of of middle school and also in glorification of the Lord a service of graduation of the course of uh, electric engineering in Uberaba in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil well we also had a seminar a special seminar in Mossoró in Rio Grande do Norte in Brazil the brand participated in this special seminar and also a video a youth video that happened in a Maranatha Christian Church in Pampulha Bora, the city of Belo Horizonte, in the state of Minas Gerais, in Brazil. And many Supper of the Lord took place in this ending of the year, the last Supper of the year on those churches. 
and pastors also celebrated with their families in many locations. We also had volunteers on Ma of Mana and Spirit Santo. And I saw with the pastors and I had on volunteers in the Church of Central de Feira de Santana, in the state of Bahia, Brazil. Another supper with the, was with the women in the city of Tabatan, in the south of Bahia, in the state of Bahia, Brazil. Another supper of the Lord with, in the church of João Neiva, in the state of Espírito Santo. We also had uh, another supper with the pastor and deacons in Serra, in the state of Espírito Santo, Brazil. And also with the brethren in Ituba, in Salvador, in the state of Bahia. Also, the brethren and family members on Teixeira de Freitas in South of Bahia in Brazil, and also a special service with the women. They took place, and we have one in Brasilia, in capital of Brazil, a Maranhão Church of Águas Claras in the capital of Brazil, and also Santo Antônio de Descoberto in the state of Goiás. There was also a special service with the women in Manaus with Amazon. We also had a a meeting with a special service with the women. Now our projects, project uh, uh, learners. We had a graduation on the project learners uh, throughout Brazil, for, uh, where they teach uh, how to play instruments. We also had a region in Barreiras, in the state of Bahia, with the border of, with the state of Goiás in Brazil. Also Curitiba in the state of Pará, Paraná. There was a service of qualification to the Lord in the Manaina of Curitiba with the junior orchestra. Our children to me there and the in this project of learners. Also, we had another graduation of the project of learners in Cariacica and also in Spirit of Santo, another graduation of the, the project learners where we teach children how to play instruments. And also the Sign language uh, Libras, Brazilian Sign Language. We had a graduation of a class in the, in São Paulo, in the capitals São Paulo, in the state of São Paulo, in Brazil. We also had a, a, a work on uh, teaching children how to play, uh, how to uh, speak in sign language. Children also being taught about uh, the Brazilian Sign Language. Throughout this week, we had uh, a graduation in Escola Técnica de Saúde in Vitória, in Espírito Santo, and also in the reception room where there was an evangelistic service. And soon after, the pastors went through the hospital praying for the sick and for the team of um, nurses in the hospital. It was a work that was very well done in Manaus, in Amazonia, in Brazil. In Cachoeira de Macacuna, instead of Rio de Janeiro, there was uh, also a work of evangelization where we have a mana in there. In Lajinha, Minas Gerais, we began a service of uh, third age in Sam the Christian Maratha Christian Church in the borough of Santa uh, Sacred Family. And also the brethren are participating on the Sunday school. This morning, we greet those brethren with the peace of the Lord Jesus. In Porto da Mata, instead of Bahia, we have done a work evangelization for children in uh, daycare on, on Porto da Mata in the state of Bahia. Another work was done also in the point of uh, preaching that was done in the state of Caieira in the state of Sao Paulo. Another evangelization with Urasu in the state of Rio Grande do Norte, northeast of Brazil. The baptisms were also a great blessing that we received throughout this week. We have in Guarapari, in the state of Espírito Santo, in Guarapá, Guarapuava, in the state of Paraná. There was a baptism in Vitória, Espírito Santo, the burner started at Tararé, and also in Lauro de Freitas, Jesus Boro, in the region of Bahia, in the state of Bahia, in Linares, in the state of Espírito Santo, also in Vila Velha, in Espírito Santo, with the burner from the Church of Praia da Costa Três and Cruz do Campo Um. In Pinheiro, in the state of Espírito Santo, Brazil, in the countryside of the state of Espírito Santo, in Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul, in Cariacica, near us, in Espírito Santo, Brazil, the batons of, of a brother on a wheelchair, in a church, uh, Belo Horizonte, 
three in Salvador in Bahia. The batons uh, also took place. We also have other information in focus. The brethren can find more information on this site of Radio Manaim and have access to this site in order to become aware of what God is doing is the work of Holy Spirit that is being published for our edification of our brethren. I'm going to begin now our instruction so the children in and the less that are participating in the Sunday school so that they may go to their own classes so they can receive the teaching from of the Sunday school so that they are going to go to their own classes and surely they have already received their orientations and we're now going to give continuity to our Sunday school and to introduce the topic here we are going to uh, relay the word to Pastor Gideuti <coughs> my brother peace of the Lord We're coming to this, the end of this year, and, and there's nothing better than to remember a few aspects that we have gone through uh, the church in this uh, year that is coming to its end, and especially taking into account the studies, the biblical studies that took place in all the Sunday schools throughout this year and particularly reminding of the last Sunday school that we had that was uh, international uh, impact and to say that we have received many information in local locations where these teachings that was the word was mentioned and it's being worked on by many throughout the world. I would like to say that the moment in which we are is a moment, a very special moment in, the, in God's economy because of the fact that God has allowed us as a church, as a body, to give an alert to the world, something that the world never witnessed before. The evangelization of life is, and with the message that were preached by evangelists, the servants of God, we had a few before us, men that dedicated to the work of the Lord. They had their own time, and a few, a few, they have, uh, at last, they had very little success because the world began to, to live through a moment that I could say kind of uncommon because we have observed that all the people there have they have they are noticing that there is upon the world of upon people upon minds that are not far away from religion everywhere including in your own families there is a dark cloud that controls the minds and hearts and the word that needs to be said, that needs to be brought to the world, can no longer be a little, a simple story. The biblical history had its place, had its moment, their messages, the technique to, to deliver the messages, the hermeneutics, uh, amletics, apologetics, all the resources of the speech, the they have been used to this day, but the Lord has called our attention and reason us in order to see the other side that is in the Word of God, which is the prophetic side, which is the most important so that the church may have a security in what they are doing, and particularly in the proclamation that they are bringing, in the shout that, they, that the church is giving, so that the world may become aware, reminding the world 
that this project of the grace, the church of the Pentecost is coming to an end. The feast is coming to an end. The trumpet is being blown and we we are noticing with clarity that the time is coming short. However, still, we can contemplate and say and know and say that the great door is still open, the door of salvation, and we need to become concerned with the door of salvation that is open for us, the ones who are hearing the message right now. It's not for the ones who are outside. The ones who are outside, many of them are being even called biblically as the ones that are being called for the last hour. The lame and the crippled, the, the Holy Spirit is going to do this work on the hearts everywhere. The message is being delivered. We continue uh, uh, as much as possible, but knowing that the Holy Spirit is responsible for this, for, for this group of lives and people that for many of us they didn't care. Well, maybe they were away from this project but they are being awakened right now and the, the role of the church of this project that we are living and preaching saying that this is the moment. The signs are being fulfilled. There is no more other uh, sign that is still need to be fulfilled. We already preached uh, the message of the Lord. It's not because we preach on the November 24th. 4th, we have received from the media the results of uh, the work that we did on the 24th, and including we are going to repeat of the topic or that we approach that day, we're going to retransmit uh, on TV, on the same TV network, because in three parts of the country, the brethren were not able to access, because there was some uh, technical problem. But they will retransmit the event. It's going to take place on the 20th, 28th, in Londrina, at 7.20 in the morning, as 8.30 in the morning, and in Belém from 16.17, and regenerated from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. You know to many how difficult it is for many to wake up early, especially Saturday and, and Sunday, the days in which people want to sleep a little more. But it's good to remind, and we're going to repeat, is here, it is on the screen here. Londrina, Brazil, 7.20 in the morning. Belém, as at 4, at, uh, 4 p.m. And Rio de Janeiro, 7.30 in the morning. The Madeirantes at Brazilian TV, Network TV, on the 20, uh, December 28th. On December 28th, this month, it's this month, this year. TV Bandeirantes, Londrina, 7.20 in the morning. Belém at 4 p.m. and uh, Rio de Janeiro, 7.30 in the morning. So the brethren are invited and conclaimed to, to, to watch this. A few didn't give the report on their church. For this reason, it was requested by us so that we will not finish the topic of Sunday school in order to bring the, the final report of participation of the pastors and churches and states. And I can tell you one thing. The state that produced the least was the state of Alagoas in Brazil. And we had states that produced most proportionally to the number of churches and pastors. The state of Espírito Santo was in second place with the production of what was requested of them. They answered 
and other states need to still need to improve and we are hoping we even have the DVDs that are ready of one and a half hours complete because this topic of uh, TV Bandeirantes is restricted to a one time is a repeat repetition because we are not paying for this retransmission they were willing to to do this rebroadcast because it was a failure on their part although they did a wonderful work for us they were very clear and honest and they chose to rebroadcast on those areas and for sure all the TV is also are going to be working we are going to retransmit the event on the day ready uh, Rede TV as uh, 2 30 p.m. on the 28th we're going to transmit and also on, on Rede TV for the entire country on Rede TV on January 4th we're going to rebroadcast at uh, 2 30 so take advantage on January 4th prepare the church and the people the pastors for this event Rede TV another Brazilian network for the entire Brazil on the 28th and on January 4th at 2.30 p.m. At because the transmission is going to be all about the social work of the Marathi Christian Church and about the work on the Amazon and everywhere when it's possible to give assistance. Oh, so now let's go back to uh, here to the topic that matter to us today. We had on the 24th a meeting which was a shout, was an alert. And everything was prepared for that day. The prayer, the messages, everything was prepared with great difficulty, but also with great blessings. The Lord gave us great victories there, only victories. But for many, you feel like they felt like it was just a, another preaching. People like to hear a message, and they just heard it as a message. But I want to tell the brethren that we, are, we have the responsibility of what was mentioned there. Not the pastor that is here, not the pastor that are here, and not the pastor that spoke there. But everyone who heard has the responsibility to take the message for their own. Preaching is something that the pastor preaches, and he himself receives the blessing. Message. Revelation is what is preached and who receives the blessings the church when the church participates it's not the pastor it's not a preacher that was left behind this is another gospel that is still here some people like this kind of gospel but the church has no time for this today we have a commitment with they need to be willing to hear the Word of God and put it in practice. So in this way we receive the, the greatest benefit of the work of the Holy Spirit. The information and growth is being greatly blessed by the Lord. But here is the topic that we are interested in. On the 24th was brought three topics three signs that highlight the prophetic moment that the Holy Spirit, the, that the entire world is living and that the church has the obli obligation to proclaim. The first one that was mentioned for the, by the first pastor, which was, he spoke about the sign for the church. The second was for Israel. And the third was for the world. Today, we're going to speak about one of those three aspects. We cannot speak about all three. Reminding with the brethren that message and the objective of that message. Therefore, 
from this point forward, the brethren need to begin to answer the questions that are going to be asked with the objective of the November 24th, what was mentioned and what the reason why we have been called to perform, to do a shout, to give a shout, and this shout now is going to be given by the church itself, the one who are listening to us, they will have the means to reproduce, and that's what we need. Therefore, the word is with Pastor Gilson, so that he may uh, begin uh, the topic here. Remember, we're going to go relate to the brand a few questions there are related to this topic that was approached by Pastor Zeducci. We're going to begin on the first question. The first question is the following. Which one, which were the objectives of the message that was proclaimed to, to the world on the 24th of November in 2019? And our task is going to be the following. Mention the biblical text, each objective with one biblical text that was related to this objective. So, in other words, what was the target of a message on the period of the 24th of November? According to Pastor Deji, has already mentioned the topic. So, seeing the church, the brethren can mention these three objectives and three targets and mention the text that was related to each one of them. Therefore, as a work that the brethren are doing in their churches, the text opened there. The brethren uh, participated on that day, on the transmission on the 24th of November and the 24th. Therefore, you already have uh, this answer with clarity. Just but in the church has a, a answer, raise your hand and say the answer. Each brother, if each one may give an answer with the participation of our brethren in the church. Here we are going to do this work with our brethren that are participating here with us. Uh, in present, they will contribute and give their contribution there in this work, in this study, in the answers. And then the first objective, one well, of the brethren is going to give the first answer. One of the first objectives related to the, the church. Our children prophesy, and our elders are going to have dreams, and the young youth is going to have vision. I'm not sure if it, they were able to hear because the microphone is, didn't work. The brother is going to repeat once again. He's going to repeat the answer. It's related to the church, the biblical testing of Joel. Joel chapter 2. To, uh, verse 28, the children will prophesy, the elders are going to have dreams, and the youth are going to have visions. Pastor Douglas from the Church of the Glory. Very well, the brother gave the information, and he gave the answer. And the brother is going to see, naturally, we're going to see here on the picture, the first answer is here, on first objective was to tell the church direct the message to the church according to Joel chapter 2 verse 28 so the, and it shall come to pass uh, afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your youth may shall see visions amen so now what is the second objective let us speak about the second objective. Another brother is going to cooperate with, here with us. So, uh, to, the second objective is in relation to Israel. In Matthew, Matthew 24, verse 32. And verse 32. Very well. For Israel is second objective in Matthew 24. 
Matthew 24, verse 32, it says, When the Lord Jesus spoke, proclaimed the parable of the fig tree, now learn this parable of the fig tree, where its branch are already become tender and put forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So this word was related to Israel. That was the second target, the second objective of our the message that was transmitted on the 24th of November. And before we, I would like to now to show here to the brethren that it was with this, we were, I, li I even like to sh leave this, this slide here because we're going to go to the third objective and we're going to go to this to this slide because it's part of the third answer. So the third objective, which was the third target of the 24th of November. So we are going to have a participation of a sister that is going to say what is going to be this third objective. Youth from Church of Gloria Dois. The answer is for the world is Matthew. Matthew 24 31. Matthew 24 31. Very well. The answer to, of the sister related to the objective, which is a message for the world. First for the church and second for Israel. And third place for the world is Matthew 20, chapter 24, verse 31, that was mentioned. And he will send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Amen. Those are, were the, ans the answers to the first question. So now let's go to the second question. And the second question is already geared towards the following. What was the objective of the message that was delivered for the nation of Israel on the 24th of November of 2019? So the brethren are going to remember, the ones who participated on the transmission, that watched the transmission, they're going to rem rem remember what was the objective of the message for the nation of Israel on the November 24th of 2019. So what was the objective that was reached? in this message. The brethren for sure may have already found the answer in the churches. So we're going to have here a participation of one of, the, of our brethren on the text that are going to be read on, in, in answer to the second question. Very well. The object of the message that was delivered to the uh, nation of Israel. So let's go to the first objective. Amen. So let's go. We're going to put on the screen for the brand to follow up on the church. Here is the first objective when we speak about the the plan of God throughout the centuries for the nations involving the nation of Israel. So here is the the board, the slide that was shown, the way in which the Lord prophesied, and we will see the text when the Lord Jesus prophesied about the fig tree in Matthew, Matthew 21, 19. And seeing a fig tree by the road, he came to it and found nothing on it but, but leaves and said to it, let no fruit grow on your, on you ever again. Immediately the fig tree with, withered away. So that's when Jesus prophesied about the time in which the Lord is going to go, going to deal with the church throughout this period in which the fig tree was going to wither. But at the same time, the Lord Jesus prophesied about the fig tree that was going to uh, sprout once again. Let's go now to Matthew 24, verse 32. 
Matthew 24, verse 32. Now learn this parable of the fig tree. When you see those things happening, know that He, the Lord Jesus, is at the doors. That's the expression that was used there with regards to the nation of Israel. So the objective of the message that was delivered to the nation of Israel was to show that the Lord Jesus, the one who had been rejected by this nation on the days in which He came to the world, and as a result of this rejection, we received the Lord Jesus our Savior, and they, naturally, in this rejection that took place there, the Lord Jesus prophesied regarding the entire history of Israel, the period called the Diaspora, and the seventh, 70th of that era, the Lord Jesus also prophesied that this fig tree was going to sprout. Uh, that's what happened, as according to an explanation, I'm going to hear here, here with more details with Pastor Zedouti. He's going to give a greater detail about this, this topic with greater details for the, our brethren in the churches. Very well, my brethren. The question was asked, which is the following. What was the objective of this message that was geared towards Israel? We know that, according to information that we have received, 600,000 homes received these messages in Israel. So, now, if you take into account the population of Israel, because in fact Israel is not only there on the Promised Land in Palestine. Israel that is mentioned is a nation, and it is all over the world, and especially in countries that speak Russian, but not only there, but in America and everywhere. But in a certain way, with the transmission that we that was made in many languages and also was made in Hebrew was retransmitted there what matters for us as a church in the deliver this message we are saying Israel look here you rejected the Messiah you rejected that's all right you do not accept Jesus very well. But look, that Messiah that you rejected is the same here that is saying all the prophecy regarding Israel that is being fulfilled. And when they say your house is going to be a desert, when Jesus saw the fig tree, he said, uh, wither the fig tree and Israel was was the aspira the, the people was spread all over the world a, a nation without a land without a structure if each person living in their own country where they were prophetically speaking Jesus also mentioned uh, refers to Israel in the moment in which the disciples were talking to him regarding the beauty of the temple you see how great this temple the things that people like, right? And the disciples also, also thought it was beautiful, the construction of Herod, the king Herod, you know, he, he spent a fortune to in order to please the Jews. And Jesus said, you see, it's not going to be stone over stone. Everything will be destroyed. So Chito entered with the Roman Empire. Titus entered and the arms of Titus destroyed the temple. It was he didn't leave stone over stone. He destroyed everything. Of course, all the utensils of the temple had gold and they stole everything that was of value in the temple. So when Jesus was coming down from the Mount of Olives after the healing, the operation of wonder, which was the uh, resurrection of Lazarus, he weeps upon the because of the, the city. These people honor me with leaps, but their hearts is uh, far away from me. And, and then Jesus cries and laments about Jerusalem. He says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Accused the prophets because he knew that he was going to be killed. 
He stones the ones who are sent to you, and this stony of Stephen, Stephen and others. So he prophesies, How many times I wanted to gather you, as a chicken gather the chicks under its wings, but you didn't want it. But your house is going to be a desert. And Israel became a desert for 2,000 years. It was a prophecy that was being fulfilled faithfully because you didn't know the day of your visitation. And Jesus laments, saying, Oh, if only today you knew what is happening, the peace that belongs to you, I am the peace. He came riding on that donkey. I am the peace that I have for you. If Today only if you knew the peace that belonged to you. But this is hidden to your eyes. Your prophecy was hidden. Many don't know the operation of the Holy Spirit. They don't know what is happening. They don't know that this project that today we are delivering to Israel, this will be left behind. The church is going to go, the Israel is going to be with this, with the project. When they are crying and lamenting the trial they are going to have to go through, they are going to say, and Jesus said, you are not going to see me anymore until he's, uh, he says, Blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And the, the text speak about the prophet. They are going to cry, saying, that one was the Messiah. Because today they have the book of Prophet Isaiah, which was a book that was rescued on the caves of Qumran. They discovered, and, and they have a museum of the book, and the prophet Isaiah was there, and the remaining parts, they also discovered there are many parts of the Bible, uh, but the book of Isaiah was complete, and the book of prophet Isaiah speaks about the Messiah. They, he, he is a perfect man, a prophet, a man that was despised by all, the most unworthy. So all the prophecy regarding the lamb, the, the silent lamb went to the slaughter. He died for our sins. That was going to be the reading that Israel is going to make when the church has already departed. They're going to say the Christianity that we knew from about the idolatry that we see out, out there was not the Christ true Christianity. The true Christianity was the one that was delivered by a group from Brazil and the world today. People that don't have they, they have no representativity but had a commitment with the prophecy. From this next year forward we're going to open the Bible since the brethren I have already understood this prophetic we're not going to we're going to begin from Genesis to Revelation. We're going to only study the prophetic. We're going to reveal the word of God in a prophetic way. That's what matters. I, we don't know if we're going to come to the end because we're waiting for the great day. But what we have left today, today, we're continuing to deliver is this message here. Look, Israel, you deny Jesus. That's all right. But here, he was the Christ. He is the one, he was the Messiah that you despised. You brought him to the cover, and the Bible says that you're going to cry bitterly. It is prophetic. We're going to come to this. And then we're going to go back to this topic because it is a wonderful topic. And I, I want to extend a little bit longer to say the following that a few days ago, actually, a while ago, when I was in Israel, the Lord asked me to go and I. Many goes, many people go to Israel, but uh, what I observed there was the following. There are many groups there. There is there's a religious, religious group called Radical. They don't ride on cars, they don't have TV. They are rich people. You see the father pushing a car with, with children, uh, two, three children pulling cars. And they, they're radical. They're part of the the group called Rabino. They're, they're religious there. There is another group, uh, they're Jewish people. They're, they have the, the little hat they put on their head. 
But there is another group that do not know anything. They enter into Israel. They are now part of the nation, the youth, men, women. Like we, what we have here in Brazil. Same way as Western world they have. They all types of corruption there. Addictions, drinking, it's not a topic for us here. We're not making any comparison, but for them, the message is going to come, and it came, that Jesus is the Savior. They have no commitment with Israel as a nation or with the religion, the Jewish religion, but they, but now came the salvation for them that one that were behind the walls of Jerusalem. So now the question the pastor asked was the following. Yep. No, but it was okay. They have no commitment with uh, Israel, but now salvation came for the ones who are behind the walls of Jerusalem. So now the question that Pastor asked was the following. What was the objective of the teaching that was given on that day, on the 24th of November? What the objective was Israel. So let's go. We're going, but the message was delivered. No one was able to do this. The world was never able to do this. And I remember our great concerns here, in the beginning of the work of the Holy Spirit, I always asked, what are we going to do with Israel? We have been there all ago. We delivered a message. They were very pleased. And I kept thinking, is this all that the Lord has for Israel? And all of a sudden, we return. The, the Lord said, we have a message for the world. But when we mention Israel, the Lord said, that's what I wanted regarding Israel. Pastor Gilson, a suggestion of message. We have more questions, but we're not going to ask because... People need to have lunch. They all have uh, end of the year. They all are going to have a special lunch. We're going to have more questions, but we're going to leave it for the next Sunday school. I'm going to leave with the brand suggestion of message for tonight. What suggests a message? Luke 19, Luke 19:44. When the the Lord looked. He prophesied that regarding Israel was a sign for the church in the last time. And they will, they will, there is going to be left stone upon stone because you have known, not known the time of your visitation. So the topic of the message is focused on look, uh, you have not known the time of your visitation. So the application is for our time. If you do not know this time now. You have a prophetic problem there. So our concern is with our families, our children, our neighbors, the people that are going to be with us in our church that need a blessing and understand they need to discern this moment of the visitation, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit, which is the prophetic aspect for the moment in which you're living. You're not reading the Bible. Everybody's reading. Everybody knows. They don't even to need to know so much. There's so much uh, information on the computer. They uh, really don't care anymore about studying the Bible. But now is application of the, the word of the Lord. You need to, first, the pastor is going to preach. And then we need to apply the word of the Lord in your life and your family. And you need to tell your family, we're not going to preach what you don't believe. Don't preach what you don't leave. Leaving what you preach and preach what you leave. Aside from this, 
It's not the work of the Holy Spirit. It's just religion. Peace of the Lord. Vamos vai orar pelas crianças, intermédio e adolescentes com imposição de mãos. Fábio, pode orar. Por favor, the blood of Jesus. Nossa bless for your small ones, deliverance, the daily lives, the schools, attacks, attacks of the enemy, the offerings that this world has. I say you protect their hearts and all the teaching, that you may keep them on their presence, Lord. Give the wisdom to the parents, give knowledge and authority to teach them on, on the presence of the Lord. Bless also the teachers, so that the teachers we may receive the means from your Holy Spirit. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Of the Lord, as Jesus Christ, love of God, our turn, good and eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The service is over. We're going to have a small meeting with the teachers. I'd like to remind the brethren of the service this evening at 7 30. And Tuesday, when they're going to, going to service, uh, our service is going to be transferred to the 25th. We're going to, not going to have Tuesday, our service is going to be on Wednesday, on the 25th, at 8 o'clock. Amen. I think it's going to be at 8, right? They have not confirmed the time until all the peace of the Lord.